In the middle of the city, the company Alterplex is getting ready to use its tall tower to launch a new invention that will solve the world's lack of energy resources. In a house nearby, Will is waiting for the launch eagerly because he worked on the project. His nephew Donnie is playing with his toy airplane and Will's sister Mia is worried about her son's health, but Will promises everything will be fine because getting good doctors for Donnie was part of the company's deal. After a countdown, the launching finally occurs and the family watches with awe how a huge beam of light appears on top of the tower and goes up into the sky, making Will surprised that it's actually working. A week later, reality shifts and Will appears inside a pod in another version of his world, only to come out and discover that the Alterplex labs here are a complete mess. Will takes a mysterious cube from the pod then searches some drawers for a charger that allows him to get his computer headset working again and log into the company's system. Then he starts to make his way out as he records a mission log, and in every room he's devastated to find dead bodies belonging to the company's employees. The emergency lights keep flickering, there is rebellion graffiti on the walls, and the writing is mirrored, which Will thinks confirms he's in what he calls the Echo World. Once he leaves the building, he finds the city in the same state, dead people and wrecked cars everywhere, smoke coming out from many buildings, and the same beam of light coming out of the Alterplex tower. Suddenly his battery starts dying again, so he has to rob a dead person to keep his computer working. Then he calls his colleague Abigail, who is surprised that he's alive and informs him of an attack on the laboratory that destroyed the cube. While Abigail sends Will some coordinates, Will remembers how it all started nine months ago. Alterplex announced that they found a way to convert mass into pure energy and that they would launch this system through their energy tower to power the whole world for the next millennium. Shortly after the announcement, Will received an invitation to the Alterplex offices and he attended to meet with Abigail, who was the chief of operations. She was impressed by the fact that Will was both a physicist and a pilot who went from the Air Force to working for NASA, she also had lots of information about his career that was supposed to be classified NASA files. Will realized this was a job interview and turned it down, but Abigail soon pulled the big guns, she promised a house for his family and medical treatment for Donnie, she also mentioned the possibility to explore impossible frontiers besides space. Will was curious and asked for more details, but he had to sign a non-disclosure agreement first. Back to the present, Will touches Donnie's plane in his pocket while trying to call Mia, but he keeps being sent to voicemail. Then he continues to walk through the city, which is deserted and on fire at some spots. He's amazed at the fact he's on echo and keeps checking the cube, which is still loading the diagnostics. The tower keeps on shooting its beam and Will calculates he'll be there in an hour. After walking through a few more blocks and seeing a bunch of bodies, Will finds a TV in a store showing the news. After the beam was turned on, Alterplex went into crisis mode and the area was put under lockdown. While the authorities tried to evacuate the city, an environmental group known as the Rebels led by Hugo attacked the Alterplex labs and tower to punish them for their invention, which according to them endangered the planet and would subsequently destabilize the system. However many witnesses saw the Rebels attack random people too. Meanwhile Alterplex launched its own security drones and was working with the police on the evacuation, and the affected ratio kept being increased every day. At that moment, Will hears some thunder and looks up to discover a second glowing hole has opened in the sky, which he blames on a gravitational anomaly. He begins making his way towards it and finds a lot of dead birds on the ground, he also finds a boat in the middle of the road which he guesses was dropped by the anomaly. Will is commenting on how it seems to be sucking the atmosphere when suddenly there's an explosion that hurts his hand and leaves a ringing in his ears. He rushes to a pharmacy and treats his wound until his headset tells him he isn't in danger anymore. At that moment, the cube finishes charging and all the metal objects on the counter get stuck on it. Then Will hears an alarm, so he cleans the cube and runs outside, where he discovers a drone attacking a van full of people. These are the rebels, who soon shoot down the drone before a second vehicle with Hugo arrives. The group sees Will and opens fire, so Will immediately runs away, trying different doors until he finds an open one to hide inside. He finds a crowbar on a table but before he can use it, he finds mine on the floor, so he runs back outside as the explosion hits him from behind, leaving him dizzy. Will keeps running for a while and takes some stairs to reach a roof, but he falls from the pain and is cornered by a rebel. However the man doesn't shoot when Will recognizes him as his former co-worker Mike, who is surprised to discover Will is alive. Before Will can ask questions, the alarm is heard again and more drones arrive to arrest them. Mike immediately hides, but Will explains he works for Alterplex and says his name. The drones don't believe him because Will is listed as dead, so he proves it by showing the cube. The drones scan it and announce someone will pick him up soon, but at that moment, another animality opens in the sky and a burning train falls to the ground, scaring the drones away. Afterward Will has another flashback from three months ago. While Alterplex's CEO Renard kept promoting the launch of his tower, Abigail gave Will a locator because once the tower went live, he had to be on call 24-7. That was also the day he met Mike, who was a guard back then. Back to the present, Mike explains to Will that the rebels raided the lab and that he saw Will die. At that moment, the word redivider appears on the cube and makes him revisit another memory. The first time he visited the labs, Abigail showed him a video to share the details of the experiment. 
fossil fuels had reached their end and world energy consumption tripled in the last decade, so Alterplex created a device based on superstring theory that deconstructed space-time into a bunch of dimensions. This would allow the tower to create a mirrored echo of this world, which would be the same in every detail except it wouldn't have life on it. That would make it a provider of infinite matter that could be transformed into power. The tower would act as a bridge between both universes and harvest the echo's mass. Then Abigail showed Will the travel pod, which will take him into the echo together with a cube that will counterbalance any instabilities. In the present, Will checks the cube and notices there's a countdown to collapse with 20 hours left, but he doesn't know what it means. Then he explains to Mike that they never intended to hurt people and that the echo was supposed to be lifeless. Mike doesn't believe it and points at the fallen train, so Will shares his theory, he thinks the echo is fighting back and bringing back its stuff to regain balance. Will wants to keep it all a secret and reach the tower, but Mike thinks they should tell people. Suddenly a car parks next to them and Abigail comes out to immediately argue with Mike about what he did to the lab. Neither of them trusts the other and Abigail wants to take Will to see Renard, but at that moment a helicopter shows up and opens fire on them, not caring about Abigail's presence. The trio begins running away as Mike shoots back, and when a building explodes next to them, they get in a car to escape. The helicopter chases after them, so the group shoots at it until they make it crash. Unfortunately the crash landing flips the car as well. Will falls unconscious and has another flashback. A week ago, reporters on TV were talking about abnormal weather behavior that made vehicles disappear, which many people blamed on the recent tower launch. At home, Will tried his best to cheer up his family, who weren't happy in the new house and felt very homesick, which made him feel guilty. Back to the present, Will wakes up and leaves the car, checking the cube to confirm it's okay. Abigail and Mike are fine too and arguing again, so Will explains to Abigail that the helicopter didn't shoot because of Mike, they shot at him because he isn't part of them anymore. He asks her to take him to the tower, but Abigail doesn't understand why since the rebels destroyed the cube. Will just asks her to trust him and they leave together. The trio makes their way through the city, finding destruction everywhere. Will gets a gun from Mike and keeps on trying to call his family to no avail, but at least Abigail says she made sure Mia and Donnie were evacuated. When they make it to an alterplex building, they discover drones patrolling the area, so they have to run inside quickly. They manage to dodge the drone scanners just in time and start moving deeper inside as Will catches more news from a random transmission. All the vehicles that disappeared from his world a week ago are the ones dropping from the sky now. At first the building seems to be empty, but eventually the trio makes it to a corridor where all the bodies are lined up. There's also a plane that crashed through the wall. Mike explains seeing all this death is what made him quit the company, so Will assures him it isn't the same in his world and that his Mike is alive there. Suddenly the drones come back and see them through the glass ceiling, so the trio runs to hide inside the plane. A few men come in and the guys open fire, Will also throws a grenade that leaves his ears ringing again. After Will picks up a weird enemy weapon, the trio leaves the building only to find the road blocked by another drone. Will immediately fires his new weapon, causing the drone to explode in a way similar to the anomaly that knocks him out. Another flashback begins of the family watching the launch of the tower beam. Will tried to explain to Donnie how it worked, only to be interrupted by his locator telling him he was on call. On the TV, a reporter revealed that World also had a Hugo promising to take action at the first sign of trouble. In the present, Abigail and Mike wake Will up and try to help him, but he can't move because there's some debris stuck in his leg. As Will falls unconscious again, he hears Mike say he knows a place. Moments later, Will wakes up inside a building where Mike is telling Hugo and other rebels that Abigail and Will are with him. Hugo grabs Abigail's face as he expresses his disapproval, but then he makes his men take Will to the infirmary. The rebels have the technology to take care of his leg, and Will falls unconscious again as he goes through another memory. Mia had been watching some of the rebels' speeches about protecting Mother Earth and Will found her in tears. It turns out she found a note from Donnie that said I miss home, so Will went to talk to him. Back to the present, Will wakes up on a chair while Hugo demands information. Mike tells him to confess but Will refuses, so Hugo checks inside his bag and finds the cube. Abigail can't believe what she's seeing and Hugo accuses Mike of betraying them, but the argument is interrupted by a sudden explosion. Alterplex agents are here and quickly open fire, killing Hugo and causing the rebels to fight back while the trio runs away with the cube. The agents chase after them through the dark corridor so the trio hides in a room where Will finds another one of those special weapons. When they see an opening, they come out and begin running again while shooting at any agent that tries to stop them. Eventually they escape through a window and notice a helicopter destroying the building. As they run, Abigail asks Will for the cube, furious because he didn't tell her about it. Mike takes them down a tunnel and when Will hears Abigail use the word redivider, he demands an explanation. It turns out the cube is a last resort protocol in case restoring balance was impossible. It destroys one universe to ensure the other survives. Mike nicknames it a kill switch and Will begins thinking about his family again. When Will tried to talk to Donnie, he was interrupted by a call from the company, but he ignored it and tried to comfort his nephew. Unfortunately the locator kept on ringing and Will got annoyed, so Donnie gave him his plane and a hug to comfort him too. In the present, Will snaps at Abigail for having sent him as a sacrifice for this mission. 
as the tunnel starts to shake, Will points out it's suspicious his family hasn't answered his calls if they were evacuated, so he decides to go home to check. As soon as he leaves the tunnel, Will is shocked to discover multiple anomalies in the sky sucking up all kinds of objects. Getting worried, he runs to his house and is devastated to find a falling vehicle destroyed it while Mia and Donnie were still inside. Noticing the bodies under the debris, Will thinks of the moment when he told Mia he shouldn't have brought them here and promised her he would quit the next day, which Mia thanked him for with a hug. Their moment was interrupted by the locator again announcing the arrival of a bunch of Alterplex agents. The men informed Will of a failure in protocol, meaning he had to go in. Mia could do nothing but watch how his brother was taken away. Back to the present, Will yells at Abigail for lying and they're interrupted by the arrival of the same agents that took him from his home. Abigail is left alone, but the leader hits Mike and takes the cube from Will before knocking him out. Later when Will wakes up, he and Mike are taken into a helicopter where Renard is waiting. As the helicopter takes off, Renard talks about the beauty of his invention before trying to convince Will to jump back into his world and blow up that one for this one to survive. If they don't destroy at least one universe, then both will die together. Will agrees a universe must go and wants it to be this one, so he jumps off his seat and tells Mike to hold onto something before he opens the hatch. As chaos takes over the cabin, Will hits the pilot and takes over the controls, but unfortunately the plane is already falling too fast and Will can't stop it from crashing. Seconds later, Will wakes up to see all the debris and the bodies on the ground. After retrieving the cube and a gun, he hides behind a helicopter piece and watches the agents from before arrive. They discover Mike is alive and begin hitting him to make him talk, so before they can shoot him for not sharing the location of the cube, Will comes out and opens fire. He kills a few agents and then gets in a hand-to-hand -hand fight with the leader, who quickly overpowers him. Thankfully Mike kills the leader first and then accepts to help Will with his mission without caring about the consequences because he wants to make up for his mistakes. The duo leaves in the agent's jeep and soon are being chased again. While Will drives, Mike opens fire and keeps the enemy away, but he's hit by a bullet in the process. They decide to trade places and when Will moves to the back of the vehicle to use its weapon, he notices more anomalies sucking things up. Another car shows up to chase them and Will quickly blows it up, but when drones also come after them, they prove to be tougher. Mike tells him to shoot at the nose of the main one, and this allows Will to hack into its system and take control of all the drones, making them shoot each other. Eventually they make it to the tower area, only for another drone to show up. Unfortunately Mike gets killed, but Will has no time to grieve. He rushes into the tower and as he runs through the dark corridors, he thinks about his family and how they supported his goal to change the world. With only six minutes left on the cube, Will knows that he wants to save the family he has in his original world, so he doesn't hesitate to connect the cube to the computer. When he's about to press the button, Will is suddenly shot. It's Abigail, who doesn't want this world to die. Will points out it's already dying and presses the button anyway, causing the building to start crumbling down. A furious Abigail shoots him again and before dying, Will takes out Donnie's plane for one last look as the world around him comes apart. Back in Will's original world, Donnie and Mia watch the tower beam go off. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.